so welcome back to Destination Sacred Grounds Motorhome Vlog. Today I want to take you through a walkthrough tour of Calypso the Motorhome. So let me take you on a really quick journey on the outside of Calypso. Calypso is a Talva on a Mercedes-Benz Sprinter, six berth, also seats six people. Here is the cassette toilet where that storage is stored. Here is the power outlet, gas, one of the back compartments which is great for storage and the grey water release. The back end. We have reverse camera and an outdoor shower as well. And the other side of the back storage compartment, which is great. This is where the water goes into Calypso. This is the gas storage, which powers up the stove, fridge and the hot water system. More storage here for where I put my stove, my burner also have some outdoor speakers as well which is great and here is the entry point. So welcome to Calypso. This is my home, it's my sacred space and where I like to spend most of my time when I'm not outdoors practicing earth-based mindfulness. So this is my entryway. Up here I have my fire extinguisher and to the right of me I have my kitchen which is pretty basic but it does the job, it covers everything that I need it to. I have basic kitchen sink, I'm using a gimbal this will be interesting. It has face recognition. So I have my basic cupboard space down here. Um, my cutlery uh, items. Um, I've got uh, medicines, first aids, um, bits and pieces that I need. Uh, things like crockery will be stored in here. And we have a stove top, which is uh, electric, um, but I have two burners that are gas, which I predominantly use gas because I'm mostly free camping. I'm barely plugged into power. Um, occasionally, I might plug into power at a caravan park if I if I check into a caravan park, which is not often. Otherwise, I've got my generator, which will power up everything in Calypso. I have a grill and an oven. I'm not sure. I did try and use the grill. It didn't work so well. I probably just need to practice. I would like to do some baking if I get a chance, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, storage space up here. We have coffee. Coffee is my favourite. I have lots of coffee. I have my routine list up here, depending on what day it is, because different days I do different things. When I'm free camping, though, that's when I like to create. Then over in this space, we have the dining area, which is where I like to eat my food, but also create and work and do all the things that I need to. Um, so it is a six seater, so I can seat four people in a seat belt here. Um, and this table actually comes off and it's better for it to come off when uh, you're traveling just in case there's any accidents and that table is not safe. Um, up here, there's more cupboard space. However, this normally is, I have books up here, but this is Carly's space. This is where she likes to hide. This is her safe space. Um, and I always leave, I always leave this cupboard and that cupboard open because she has like a clear run up to the bed. She can come and hide. She can come jump down here. She has like different ways to get in and get out. Mm. Coffee's really good. Okay, next we have the bathroom. I might just take you for this so one. Just heading to the bathroom now. It's just a basic bathroom, basic shower. We have this space up here, letting in lots of air. We've just had the gas fixed, the gas hot water, so we have lukewarm water now. We have Carly's toilet in here as well as my own. And there are lots of vents for light and air. I have some sage drying out, lavender sage, an air con, which works when I'm plugged into power or my generator. Some more air vents for the lovely light and air to come in. Lots of cupboard space lots of cupboard space. 
I store lots of my stuff in there, but I probably got more room, so I don't need it all. The windows are huge, so it's absolutely gorgeous. I spend a lot of time here, as does this little girl checking out the birds and scenery. Under here, I have lots of space as well for storage, and that back seat is connected to the back storage compartment. And over in this space, we have Carly and her cage, which I sometimes take out and erect so that she can have a little bit of a play around, a bit of a sniff around on the grass and check things out. Up here, we have the TV, which I barely use. It's got an antenna up on the roof. And within these spaces up here is where I like to place some of my items and Carly's water because she likes to drink water up near the sink, not where her food is. Up in this space, I have all of my items which are essential for Calypso um, to show me how much water I have, to turn things on and off, hot water, everything else, and to show me how much battery I have. A microwave that works when plugged into main power, so I don't use it very often. And a large fridge, which is perfect size for me. It's three-way, but mainly run on gas. Coming back over this way, I do actually have these seats here, which are also storage. So my clothes go in there. And then there is also this storage space, which holds the batteries and the inverter. Under here as well, we just have Carly's little bed, her food, and my meditation cushion, which I take out to different places and meditate each morning. And right through this component right here is one of the most important aspects of Calypso. It is the front cab. So let me take you through. Here she is. She is an automatic. I normally drive manuals, but makes it easy for those long drives. Another space of Carly's. Calypso is actually really comfortable to drive. We've not had any issues with her as yet mechanically, so that's been really good. Fingers crossed that continues. Carly loves to stay in this space in the front seat and she will just sit and lay and nap in the sun, usually in the morning sun, and just chill in this space. I try and keep fresh flowers or I keep my, my water plants in this space as well. It kind of, kind of brightens everything up and has that water element, that earthy element. And I also keep Mr. Wang Wok in this space here who guides me and protects me along on my journeys. I got this little guy from Spain. And then we have the ladder, which takes us up to the bedroom and to a nice cozy and comfortable space. This is my sleeping area as well as Carly's sleeping area. So that concludes the walkthrough tour of Calypso. If you have any other questions or comments, note them down below in the comment section. And if you haven't already subscribed, subscribe now and press the notification bell to get regular updates.